Guys, uh, I'd like to kind of start off the steak and eggs and say that over the last week, uh, we have unfortunately lost Emmy and Tectone. Uh, they contracted AIDS, dysentery, <laughs> Uh, you know, cancer, uh, a headache, bubonic plague. <laughs> if you don't believe it, uh, I didn't either. COVID-20, it's already out. So, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> you guys weren't supposed to laugh. You know, like it kind of fucked it up. Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. This is very serious. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, we had, a, we had a good time last week, huh? Yeah, I actually had a really good time. Yeah, it was good. I did unironically get myself checked out the day after. Really? Just to make sure. Just in case. <laughs> Just yeah, in it'll case. take a couple more days for it to really take effect. Yeah, it'll kick in. I don't, yeah. I don't know if like this is from visiting the house. It could have been unrelated, but I have been coughing and sneezing more and I have a giant pimple on my face. That's oh, like very, that. very painful. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't usually get pimples. So like maybe like I got some kind of like disease, skin disease. No mere mortal can live with asthma gold. <laughs> Yeah, it's just yeah. the way it is. I had a pretty pretty serious tummy ache for at least two hours. Oh no, tummy ache. I know. It was pretty serious. <laughs> I only cried for 30 minutes. And uh, <laughs> that steak, uh -huh. the, I will admit, the steak was good. I told you, man. Yeah. That shit's delicious. It was, wor it was worth the pain afterwards. Yeah. But, you uh, also ate two of them. Oh yeah, you ate Jay's steak. Yeah. Yep. You were going in on them. Yep. No, that shit was stupid. You wonder why? Because it was unironically unlike any steak I've ever had in my whole life. Really? Yep. What was good about it? What did you like? The insane amount of flavor. Yeah, exactly. Like, it like punches you in the face. That lemon pepper, mm -hmm. that shit elbows you. So good. Like, oh, actually so good. Jay just typed my steak. Sad face. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, I made a steak thing. for him. It's not my fault. Hey, it is what it is. No, he was too afraid to eat it. I don't blame him, right? So I ate the shit. Yeah. And it was good. And I also had some of that potato too. That shit was fire. Now, that was actually such a fun time. You liked it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I want to clean your house or a room so bad. Uh, so bad. Yeah, the thing is, like, you think that and then you will realize that there are levels of non-cleanliness that you don't even know exist. I know. But, like, <laughs> just your bedroom. Yeah? You know, clean the sheets. Ooh. Clean the walls. Ooh. Replace the mattress. Yeah. Why, why would I replace the mattress? Like, okay, so yeah, I, I, I don't even understand. Why would I do that? I'll at least flip it. At least flip the mattress. Why would I flip the mattress? What's the, what is the best case scenario? It feels nicer and it's cleaner. How could it possibly feel nicer if the bed already feels nice? Well, I mean, okay. Okay, with that logic. All right, what's your favorite thing in the whole world? Beef jerky. Beef jerky. What if they came out with... Oh, beef fuck. jerky too. <laughs> yeah, beef <laughs> jerky too. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be crazy, <laughs> huh? That would blow your mind. Uh, but I think also uh, going to the convenience store afterwards is also really that was a that's a oh, good yeah, story, we, we bro. Didn't do that on camera after we walked to the gas station and we all got drinks and snacks. And then we walked back. It was, it was very calm and peaceful. The sun was going down. I got the uh, yep. the blue. Uh, there's like the, you know, like that, the, like the sour shit that's like yep. a wrapped up, the blue thing. I ate the whole fucking thing on the way back to the house. It was great. Then I ordered Chipotle after everybody left and I passed the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, it was a really great day for me. Just a <laughs> high quality day. And um, yeah, I still was kind of worried. Like I, I didn't clean it up at all. Like I actually did clean up the bathroom a bit because like y'all... Yeah. No, there is no soul on earth that needs to see that. I still didn't use what, the bathroom. What could it have yeah, possibly that's looked like? Like, what were you doing? Well, I mean, what do you what do you think I was Shitting? doing? No, I, uh oh, no, it was not like that. No, <laughs> okay. it was just like different, random, like gross stuff. Like I remember. Uh, it, it, let's not talk about it. Okay, okay. No, let's yeah. no, let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so before we came and you cleaned the bathroom, how many yeah. years had it been since you cleaned that bathroom? Um, it was it, the last time I cleaned it was in 2018. In no, no, maybe 2019, and yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I have in the past visited another streamer house where the bathroom hadn't been cleaned in a year. And I cleaned that bathroom. It was not a good time. And it, it was a year. And it was like 10% as bad as that bathroom. Yeah, your, your toilet bowl was like stained red. 
like you like had like fetuses in there. Like, why was it that color? Like, what were you doing? It look, you know what's crazy? You know what's fucking crazy? I was playing Resident Evil 4 mm -hmm. and I go into like this possessed mutant villager's house. Uh-huh. It was cleaner than you are. <laughs> well, there was like the mirror. Like, I remember I had stabbed my... Uh, I, I just, I, I wanted Wait, to- Wait, you stabbed your what? I, okay. Um, <laughs> well, I still had the pliers on the, well, anyway, so the pliers were from whenever I had to break a tooth off, but that was like a long time ago. That right. wasn't recent. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I had like stabbed like my gum or something like that. And then I had put the blood on the mirror and I cleaned all that off. And so that's not on the mirror anymore because I wanted to see like what color it would turn. Yeah. And uh, and then I had that, but that's gone. And that's, I mean, I don't know, there's other stuff, right? I mean, like the bathroom, the bathtub was really, it was like, there was like dirt in the bathtub, a lot of dirt in the bathtub, uh, a lot of bugs in the bathtub, uh, got rid of them. And <laughs> what uh, they were clean bugs. What? <laughs> but they were clean bugs. Well, yeah. I mean, Go. that's true. Yeah. They actually kind of were clean bugs. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, and that was pretty much the main thing. And then there was the sink was like um, just pretty much like just random stuff in the sink. I, uh, I watched a video about you this morning. Oh, no. One what of the most it? repulsive <laughs> things I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, I don't believe this. I'm like, oh, my God. If you haven't seen the video, it's on your Clips channel. <clears throat> and you go, yeah, guys. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but uh, I have stopped using soap entirely. And then it shows you going to Nick's house. And everything you touch, the COVID-19 symbol goes on it. And then what? you eat a waffle and COVID goes on it. And then Nick eats the waffle that you touched. Bro, it is oh, no. repulsive. Oh, yeah. Didn't you say you were done with shampoo or something? I'm done with any, th any sort of stuff like that. Because I feel like it hasn't done me any good. It hasn't helped me. And like now... You've got the pimple. When was the last time you showered? Probably today, right? Oh, uh, last night. And how's the pimple doing? Okay, but that's, that's different. There you go. That has nothing to do with the pimple. Well, there it is. There's no pimples that, on my face. Has, well, what if it does? Oh, my God. Yep, there what it is. if it does? You think the soap gave me the pimple? That well, was your house. No, I mean, that's just a coincidence. <laughs> that's just the way it is. And also- Your like, house gave me a pimple. You're welcome. That is crazy. I've never seen you have a pimple. <laughs> Two, wait, what was that? Look at she it. She's there for two hours. Yeah. Look at it. I know. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's just normal. And and no, I, I think that it's a uh, it's a higher form of living, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's like, I never get cold anymore. I don't even really get overheated either. Wow. Okay, but the, it's also been a nice temperature outside, so you, you wouldn't. But, but you, you, in my house, you know, it's very cold in my house. It was fine in the house, I yeah. Mean, uh, there you go. I mean, I, don't, I would say it is cold, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel good all the time. I'm chilling. I mean this genuinely. Yeah. Is there anything in your house where you, where you, when you look at it, you think, man, I wish I didn't have to see that anymore. Or I wish this was different. It's, it's, I mean, legitimately, it can be so small, like one thing. Well, yeah, there's tons of shit in the house. It's fucking annoying. Like what? Abs like all of it. I'll get rid much. of it. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to deal with it. Like it's, it's not that it's a... So it's like if I could blink my eyes and things would be fixed, then maybe I would blink my eyes. But maybe that would be too okay, much Okay, but what if like someone came in while you were streaming so yep. they didn't even know you, they were there and then when you go downstairs out of your streaming room, it's just all gone. Yep. So um, there was one time uh, an ex-girlfriend cleaned one of the parts of my room and I don't know where like three of my shirts went. And oh no, three shirts. Yes, the three shirts. You know, I have, I have like 300 shirts. I know every same. single one of them. What? And they're all the same. No, that's only like probably <laughs> okay, 100. This is actually like a hoarder problem. I, and I got this and you shirt. Have to, you, you have to admit that, right? What like, do you mean? How's it a hoard problem? Because you don't need 300 shirts. And if you're well, missing no, you're three right, shirts, it doesn't really matter. No, but it, it's the principle of it. No, I okay. I know what you're saying. Because like, you know if, how I said I got rid of like a, 171 cosplays? That's a lot. It, yeah. it was very fucking difficult because Why I was, was it difficult? I was like, 
I have all these cosplays. I know all of them. I have memories with all of them. I spent money on them. I want to keep them. Why would I get rid of them? And it was really hard to like choose which ones to get rid of. But then once they You're were gone- You're getting emotional about this, aren't no, you? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm explaining <laughs> this so that you understand. And then once they were gone, I've not thought about them since. Like it, uh -huh. it doesn't matter. But clearly you're still thinking about those three shirts, well, which I'm is not, why it's a problem. Of course I'm thinking about them in the same way you're thinking about the cosplays because it got brought up. Yeah, <gasps> think about but that. What, yeah, I'm saying, so, what I'm saying is my life is better. My stuff's more organized. I don't feel stressed when I look at it. You have to understand the way that I get stuff. I never buy anything. Do you know why? This is, it is inflicted upon me. All right? Okay. I understand that. I also have had to get rid of or move things that were given to me. But you just don't need a lot of those things. Or if it's like collectibles, like say someone gave you like a figure or something, you want to keep it. You find a place for it that's not like on well, top is, of your fridge or something. This is what I thought, right? And like, yep. this is a consideration I have put into it. Is that what do you do in video games whenever you run out of space in your inventory? You start deleting things. No, you go to the store and you buy more inventory in the store. But you, you, and so what you I can't could do, buy more rooms in your house. And that's the funny thing is you're wrong. So, uh, a shed. There's number one, I no. could do a shed. No. Uh, number no. two, no, we could build him a shed. And then, he's and gonna, then we move things into the shed. Like what? Like, okay. Stuff. The game machine. Move stuff into the shed. Yeah. No, the game machine can stay in the house. The game machine's not going into fucking shed. Yeah, that's a, that's Unless it was a, a cool thing shed. to display. Oh, okay. So he, he would probably be moving like useless furniture and like clothes, right? But once it's in the shed, are you ever going to take it out and use it? So then why do you need it in the shed? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I would. You know, you never know what's going to happen. That's the hoarder mentality. <laughs> well, no. I mean, like, if you've seen my inventory in any video game, it's the exact same. And it's not a hoarder mentality. <laughs> it's a preparedness mentality. Okay, what about this? And I'm offering what? this. I won't do it on stream. I won't even do it for a video. I don't. But, but, but for just, just for this, I just go into your kitchen and uh -huh. I get rid of the expired food. Oh, that would take too long. <laughs> no, no, that, no, that would take, that would take like that an would hour take max. No, 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 that's for me, uh, no, twenty minutes. No, yeah, no, that's an hour max. It's like fridge above the fridge, cabinets. Yep, okay. countertop. So one thing you have to understand about me is that yep. there is no expired food. I was joking. There's almost no expired food in my house. Uh, I usually meme meme about that. The reason why is because I don't like eating expired food. Yep. And so I don't eat expired food. Like if something is one day off of the fucking, it says it expires yesterday and it's today. And it's something that I know isn't expired. The bitch goes in the garbage because I don't deal with it. I okay. never eat anything that is expired in any capacity whatsoever. Okay. Yep. Absolutely not. Because I don't want to get sick because see, like that's the logic, right? Is that if I eat something that makes me sick, then I can't stream. And if I can't stream, I can't play video games. And yep. if I can't play video games, why am I alive? You know what was crazy? I played two video games off stream yesterday and it was miserable. Really? What did oh, you play? I played Dark Tide. Uh -huh. uh, and then I played League of Legends. Oh, Aww. that's why. And both of them, I was just like, bro, yeah. I am fucking miserable. Really? And then I played another game off stream and I still had fun with it. What was it? Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, yeah. Bro, I've heard about that game. It's still good. It's I don't know, man. Still Dude, good. I put 200 hours into Valheim, totally off stream. Yep. Best 200 hours, not the best 200 hours, but very good 200 hours. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good 200 hours. I have more fun playing video games, usually off stream than on stream, but on stream, it's a different kind of fun. Yep. Right. So, mm -hmm. like on stream, I can enjoy bad games. Off stream, I can enjoy good games. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Like, my Diablo Immortal streams were fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I spent like $1,000 on the first day. Yeah, I think I think Valheim as like a streamer server would be a lot of fun. It doesn't work. There's a lot of reasons. It's oh, part it's, of the net Oh, it still code. doesn't work? Uh, it will, it, it's it's a very long story. Oh, okay, because uh, I, I suffered yeah. through that multiplayer with like like eight players and it was like fine. It was, oh, really? Even that? Yeah, I, was, I thought that was garbage too. Yeah, no, for me it was fine. It, it was like obviously not optimal, but I still preferred it. You ever play Valheim, mommy? No. What kind of game is that? It's like a survival game where it's like you're set as like a spirit that's died in battle and you're being sent into a afterlife 
in like the Nordic uh, mythology. Oh, wait, maybe I did play that as like the third person. Yeah, sword where you hit the tree and the tree falls down and kills you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, really, really, really fucking good. Oh, yeah. I went so hard on that game. I beat the entire game twice. What if we were to do this? Uh, and I'll stop asking okay. after this. Let's say in some arbitrary amount in the future, let's say three months. Okay. Me and Emmy will go clean up your kitchen while you're streaming. And then we'll leave. You guys don't understand what is in that kitchen. I think I do. <laughs> I, I think no, I do. No, you don't. I guarantee you. Okay. Uh, well, what, what is this? Genuinely, I feel like I've seen it all. That's And what, here's the thing. If I haven't, I'm glad. Same. Because then there's more to experience. It's more experience. More, yeah. more fun. Yeah. What was one of the most putrid things you'd ever think that I wouldn't be able to deal with? Well, there was one time there was a dead possum that died behind my refrigerator and it had decomposed so much that whenever I picked it up, half of the, corp half of the corpse and the intestines fell out and yep. I had to sweep it up and like kind of uh, scoop it up and put it in the garbage. That bag. is pretty bad, but I, I mean, that's just something you got to deal with sometimes when, when you're an adult. When I lived in El Paso, I mean, in the house, there but... was this stray cat that used to live in with the previous tenants that they would tell me about. The cat comes in every now and then. Yeah. And I didn't know about this, right? I was like, okay, stray cat. You know, three months after I move in, the cat's appearing in my bathtub. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is none of my cats. And then it runs away, okay? Two months later, all of a sudden, it smells like absolute shit in my house. Yeah. And I go inside my garage and the cat is like underneath all of the previous tenant stuff that they didn't take out of the garage and it's dead and it's yeah. melted into the ground. And yeah. I had to get it out by getting a shovel yeah. And scraping its corpse off the ground. Yeah, that's the way it is. Yeah, right. I had so to, I, you know, I've been there. Well, I had I had a cat that did that um, recently, actually, in my yard, and I took pictures of it. Yeah, uh, I I don't have them to show, uh, but <laughs> it's, like, it's just a dead, decomposed cat with maggots in it. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, but yeah, the guy was mowing my lawn. He was complaining about it. Yeah, and I had to go put it in a garbage bag so he'd finish it. But so now you know, like. We won't be grossed out. We'll just get it done. I think that you always think that, and then there will be that one thing that, for whatever reason, it might be too much. But it will be funny. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and, if it's, and if it's too much, then we just stop. Yeah. I don't know. And um, apparently the house tour video just hit a million views. Oh, my Dang, God. in that three days. Insane. That is so funny. <laughs> That's like, the way that it is. is. so funny. <laughs> yep. Remember, I was uh, saying I thought that would be our biggest video, and you were like... It's not going to pass our first episode. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I didn't think it was really a big deal. I like, know. That's normal. why it's so good. Yeah. It's, it's you just don't a, think it I is. I like it's those kinds of videos thing. where it's it's like us just like hanging out, like just doing something. Same. Yeah. It's very relaxing. I'm not, I'm never stressed out, anything like that, doing videos like that. It's totally fucking fine. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like the part where we were playing shit in the backyard. Really? Yeah. That was fun. I like that too. Dude, your swordsmanship is actually like insane. How yeah. did that start? Like, how did you get so good at it? Um, because I started with a stick. Right. And then <laughs> my friend had a stick. And then I would hit my friend and he'd hit me. And then I was like, well, that hurt. Maybe I'll try to make sure I hit him more and he hits me less. That's sick. And, uh, yo, yeah, I used to do it all the time. And uh, my dad taught me, like, other stuff. He was, like, a, a fighter in, like, the, in the army and shit. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, he was like insanely fucking good at it whenever he wasn't 76. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's kind of how it was. And I just did it all the time back in the day. Because when you do the, when you're holding a Zweihanda and you one hand it and you flip it backwards and then you chop it. Yeah. That shit's nuts. It was, oh, I, I told my stream this too because I wasn't sure if people knew because of the cuts. When he hit the, the volleyball, those were like, one one God take. He, ne he never missed. Yeah. It wasn't just putting in the best clips. He never missed with it. No, why would I miss? Yeah. Now imagine <laughs> that that's a human. Do you think you'd slice somebody in half? Uh, could I cut somebody in half? You slice them in half. Uh, well, like, what do you mean by that? Could I cut somebody's head off? No, like, I mean, like... Like their, their uh, From torso? their skull down to their testicles. No, I don't Bro. think I could. Um, oh. I don't think I could. I've thought about that. Yeah. Um, I, I really, yeah, I just... I just don't now. Maybe it would be maybe possible, but I don't really think that it would happen. Okay, uh, it's just hard to do that because of the bones, and well, there's so many bones because you're going to be going through every vertebra. Like you could probably cut somebody in half from like their side pretty easily. You could cut off somebody's arm super easily. 
Is that this what no men deal. think about? Well, yeah. I wasn't mm-hmm. until I watched Omni Man's trailer for Mortal Kombat One. Uh huh. Which oh, oh all, my all the, god, he the like animations grabs somebody's brain and like squeezes their head until their eyeballs pop out of their skull and their oh, face yeah, turns like purple. Game of Thrones or Star yeah. Trek. Yeah, yeah. And then he, he grabs the Mortal Kombat character and just flies them through a bunch of civilians. So you see their corpses exploding oh, on his body like in the show. Yeah, and then you yeah. know the one where he's like, "Think, Mark," and then it's like. Knocks him the fuck out, uh-huh. nose exploding. Bro, it looks so good, man. I actually love Mortal Kombat so much. If I wasn't shit, I would play the fuck out of that game. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, one of our favorite sponsors is back. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, and they have new box themes. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are monthly Japanese-themed snack boxes that allow you to experience the taste of Japan from the comfort of your very own home. However, Each of them are different depending on your taste. Tokyo Treat focuses on limited edition popular snacks from Japan, like this month's Mount Fuji sandwich cookie, the sweet potato pie, and some blueberry marshmallows. Ooh. All right, what do you want, Techie? Here, give me the box. (sighs) All right, all right. You pick what you want and give me the rest. All right, ramen, nice. These swirly potato things, I really like these. Oh, it's like a little burger. I was gonna say, it looks like a burger. Is that the Mount Fuji cookie? Is there like a guide? I don't speak Japanese. There is. There's uh, each of the boxes comes with a little guide so you know exactly what you're eating. So that is the Mount Fuji green tea cake. Oh yeah, I like that. Mm. Would you like to try the Decavita mm. vitamin C drink? Bro, I've been dreaming about that. Oh my God. I think I just found my favorite drink in the entire planet. I think this one different though. Tech, he made uh, Finn specifically get me a can of this. Too, yeah, so that is that is dumb good. Mm. <laughs> good. Right? Sakura Co. partners with local Japanese snack makers to provide authentic and traditional snacks and teas from Japan. So a guide, of course, Wonders of Saitama. So there's a sweet potato pie in here. That looks good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, there's some, some mochi here for you. Looks like it's got red bean in it. Oh, yeah, let me get that one. There you go. Oh, it's got some chopsticks, white chocolate fruits. So what you're eating is a a daifuku. It's a traditional and beloved Japanese treat with azuki beans and sugar cane from Hokkaido. Mm. If I rip you off a piece of this potato pie, would you eat it? Yeah, I love pastries like this. Each Sakura Co. box comes with one special Japanese tableware item every month. This month's item is the Wasaka Crane Chopsticks. Yep, and they're mine. The current themes are Mount Fuji Snack Venture from Tokyo Treat and Wonders of Saitama from Sakurako. To get your very own box of tasty treats from Japan, click the links below and use our code STEAK for $5 off your first box. Thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring our podcast. I never got into fighting games except for Soul Calibur. I yep. fucking loved Soul Calibur. And I mean, if you want to call it a fighting game, Smash Brothers. Yeah. But besides that, I never liked fighting games because I just thought they were boring. Really? I don't know why. Yeah, I just think about it. And mm-hmm. I, I, the thing is, like, I like watching people play fighting games, but like, do I really want to get good at making a guy go like that? Like, pff, I don't give a fuck, right? It's <laughs> just the time investment, I guess. Yeah. And it's like, I, and I know, like, I can appreciate an extremely good player, but not enough to want to do it myself. Yeah. I feel like that's fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're fun for like a day or two. Smash is different though. Smash is the best of all time. Really? Also, I'm assuming the Soul Calibur, the one that you're talking about, is probably the one where you can play as Spawn or Link. Uh, yes. Yep, Spawn best one was I played from too. the Xbox and Link was from Game the GameCube. GameCube. Yeah. And then there was um, one other character for PS2. Yeah, I don't remember who it was. I think it was a Tekken character. Yeah, probably Yoshimitsu, probably. Yeah, I think it was Yoshimitsu. I think Yoshimitsu was base model. I'm actually not sure. Really? Uh, Yoshimitsu was nasty though. Yeah. I love it because you would bounce on a sword. Mm-hmm. Bro, that game was so goddamn good. Oh, did you see uh, Twitch stories? Yeah. So I was talking to them a little bit about this mm-hmm. earlier, and apparently Twitch has added stories. I think it's yeah, awesome. So I like, cannot wait for homepage? nobody to fucking use this. <laughs> I used it immediately. And, yes, and, and like it's going to be Tectone and a bunch of other 20 viewer streamers. Hey, check out my stream. I'm live. <laughs> I, You know what? I just like being able to send my offline chat some stuff, you know, when really? they're sitting there. Yeah, because my offline chat is very active. Uh huh. You know, I just like being like, oh, hey, this is the reason why I'm not live. I feel like if you have an active online chat, that's like, um, you know how if you're trying to grow mushrooms, you like create a certain environment? Yeah. Like the offline chat is like that environment and the mushrooms are parasocial viewers. Yeah, I love that And shit. there's a lot of mushrooms, man. <laughs> 
There really yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I think there's a direct correlation with people that have a more active online offline chat and the people that have individuals that want to show up at their house. That's just how it is. Yeah, I've never had a bad experience. Oh yeah. With yeah. your offline chat? Yeah, all good. You know, oh, oh I, wait, that's not true. Okay, there was okay. one time. Oh, uh, yeah. There I forgot is. about this guy. It's always one time. <laughs> yeah, was, I've, I've had a couple. Yeah, one guy came to my house. Oh, yeah? But it was fine. It was harmless. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, for, for over four years, I feel like that's pretty good, yeah. to be honest. It's decent enough. Yeah, and then he said, don't worry, I'm the only guy who could have found this. Okay. And I'm like... Good for him. <laughs> I, I doubt, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, okay, man. <laughs> that's why I told everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't have to work as hard as I did. Yeah, I haven't seen that guy in a long time. I wonder what happened to him. I don't know. Maybe he did it to somebody else. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. But like, I don't know. I just, I feel like the offline chat community, like my viewers, once I'm offline, they fucking leave. Let. They're, they're they're like, okay, thanks for the stream, Baldy. See you tomorrow. Now I'm going to go do something else. Yeah. Like who just sits in an offline chat? What is this? So it's like an AOL <laughs> chat room. You gotta type ASL. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, it's been just holy like, shit. It's just like, hey man, just pulled Kafka. People are like, sick. Wow, <laughs> fucking idiot! You spend your money too. I fucking hate you. Oh. I hate games like that. That'd be my offline or, chat. Or they shit talk me. And oh, they really? say, yeah, let's see Tecto and try to play a variety game today. I'm not going to type shit. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, anyways, uh, did you see the Oktoberfest stream? Uh, so I saw Nick's thumbnail of it. Oh, what yeah, was it? me too. Yeah. Well, it was, it was it Nick was, and all Nick, the women. Nick has taken a lot of advice from my editors on how to farm. If there's a female yeah. um, on the screen, then they're in the thumbnail. That's just the rule. That's smart. And so, uh, yeah, Nick. So he put all the females in the thumbnail. Yeah, and like, and and also the best part about it is that video is insanely popular. That is a hundred and thirty-five thousand views in a day. Yeah, there you go. On a fifty-four minute video, I just noticed that. Yeah, that is really, really good. Jesus. It's insanely great. Zuz. Yeah. Yeah, that was a um. That was a, unironically, that was a wild stream to be it's a like part there of. Are, think about how many guys see that thumbnail and they're like, I wish it was me. <laughs> God, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> it should have been me. That was one of my favorite streams I've ever done. And I'm pissed because I drank the most and it said I was the most sober. Really? And I felt like I was so drunk. Oh, did you guys do like an alcohol test or something? Yeah, we did a breathalyzer and ended. Oh. And I was like, I'm not even going to you, like I was shit-faced. I could yeah. barely even keep my eyes open. Like I, maybe, or sure, maybe I was just tired. Yeah. I don't fucking know. But they breathalyzed me, and I was like point zero two. So like mm -hmm. almost like I, mean, I could still drive. Did I drive? Fuck no. There is no way because dude, let me tell. I would be in jail if I drove home after that stream. No fucking shot. I was pissed out of my mind. And then Cinna was pressuring me to drink more alcohol. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Even then. Yeah, I was literally like in the chair. Like this. He's like, oh, Decky. Another one. He's like, Decky, <laughs> uh, you probably want to drink a little bit more. And I'm like, no, I'm okay, Cinna. Because <laughs> what? who is, Cinna's what? Cinna got Ms. sick, Nick sick. I don't know Apparently, what. Apparently, she she didn't. She told me that she's she was never sick in the first place. Oh, she told you that. Yeah, but why would she lie about that? I mean, because she's an evil person. Well, I mean, there's some people Surely. that could be asymptomatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel like it's unrelated though because Miz and Nick didn't even have the same symptoms themselves. Yeah, well, things manifest in different ways. Well, yeah. It's I probably guess. still her I fault. It, it is. <laughs> yep, it's still her fault. It guaranteed. felt so good obliterating her and yodeling because I feel like Senna is one of the most evil people on this whole planet. Is she that bad? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, so how yep. did... The, was it just who was the loudest? Cause like, of course you won. <laughs> okay, let me let me break it down for you. So we all get there. I'll paint you a picture. Uh, we all get there. We all get into our little uh, Venus schnitzel little garb uh, for Oktoberfest. It was awesome. Uh, we all suit up, and there's a competition: men versus women. The moment I knew it was men versus women, I have never been you more knew focused. You were going to win because it, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's just that. I mean, it's nature, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have never locked in harder in my entire life. Uh, so the first challenge is, we, oh, we, we go into a paper and we write, who's the best at what? Right. Okay, they put, I was the best at singing. Uh, they put, Sia was the best at movement. Uh, they put, Nick was the smartest. 
which I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> it is that. What it is. Uh, I'm so shit faced. I actually don't remember who else was there on my team. I don't remember. Was Wake. Wait, no. Russell. Oh, Russell was there Russell. for the best at swallowing. Uh, <laughs> that was an actual thing. Wow. Okay. Swallowing yeah. what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, E-Rob was the best at drinking. Oh, no. Raffle Gator was the best at drinking. And then E-Rob was, um, I don't know. Yeah. I can't even imagine a single thing that guy's good at. Um, yeah, no idea. Uh, yeah. Do you, know many t- do you guys get sent clips of E-Rob like every day? Yes. Uh, not really. No. Really? I get well, like, he, he doesn't have those. I get like I six a day. Yeah, I don't have loser viewers. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think they're I don't think they're my viewers. I think there's somebody else's viewers who come in and they send me streamable links of like E Rob like shitting himself next to a girl. This is the weirdest oh shit. My God. Uh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, you haven't? He's like sitting next to a girl and he's like ripping ass and it sounds like a bomb's coming out of his butthole. Okay, yeah, I don't get sent that one. Oh, thank okay. God. I mean, I'm sure I'll see it now, but I'm hoping I don't. Yeah, you yeah. will. It's disgusting. <laughs> uh so we go up for yodeling. Uh, I actually do a yodel. Cinna tried to farm chat by calling Nick a predator. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of time every girl in that stream was pointing at Nick and screaming, predator! Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, that was sick. And then uh, we go up and we do a knowledge check and uh, we cheated to win mm-hmm. because we just told Nick how to spell a word he didn't know how to spell. Yeah. So we got the win for that too. Uh, and what was then- the word? Um, how to spell uh, Germany in uh, German. Oh, there's no way anybody knows that. Yeah, how, do you, how would you spell it? Germany? Yeah, in, in German. Is it, it's Deutschland, right? Yeah, how, do you, how would you spell it? So, I don't fucking know. Who cares? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I don't fucking know either. Yeah, I who cares the fuck? I would have just spelled G-E-E-R-M-A-N-Y. Yeah. I did not know it was called Deutschland at all. I didn't know that yeah. shit. Um, it's the same thing with Bavarian. I have no idea what Bavarian was. Uh, then we do the best at swallowing contest. Uh-huh. And uh, it was... Uh, it was, oh, it was Brit. It was Brit versus. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. So wasn't that like you guys were swallowing whole like hot dogs? So we had to eat. I would have puked. We had what to eat. What the fuck? So so Brit before the competition says that she has a a fear of sausages, and so she couldn't so compete. So does Nick. I don't get that because they taste. So like, what are they gonna do? Like what what is the sausage like? What's the worst case scenario? Nick oh. said it's it's like a texture thing. Like he doesn't like when you bite into the oh, sack the and it like explodes it. in your mouth. It does. Yeah, it does. It's like, yeah. Oh, I mean, I love Vienna sausages. So it, uh, Britt had to sub out. So it was me and Rafflegator as a tag team. He ate the first I do dog. Th- yeah, it's like if you bite into a sausage, it's kind of like a leprechaun's busting a nut in your mouth. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I, no, because like, I'm just thinking of now I'm what starting, now I'm starting to think about it, right? Yeah. And it's like, actually, yeah. And now I don't know if I like sausages anymore. Well, these were big ones. That's even worse. Oh, okay. So it's like a really hung leprechaun. Uh, and then it was, yeah, Carolyn and uh, Peach. Carolyn finishes her first dog 45 seconds before Rob finishes his dog. So I have to clutch up. Okay. Those look disgusting. Bro. I like sausages, but those look disgusting. That's nasty. Bro. Yeah. I slop Even that Peach shit is down. getting disgusted. No, yeah. dude. Dude, dude, dude. When you see how quick I slop this dog down. It looks like it's a throw up. They, oh my God. Like, it's nasty. No, Who the fuck does this? They were delicious. I love them. I just feel like. Look at Rob. Look, how his, look at his face. His face is so red. Well, it's because he's weak, is man. Is she crying? It looks like she's tearing she up. She should a little. be. Haven't you eat a sausage like that? What the fuck? I'm just saying, bro. Okay, Robert's Robert's glass is made of paper and his bones are made of glass. Bro, Caroline's loving it. She's <laughs> such a good time. Yeah. Uh, dude, this stream was such a fun time. Okay, but look at how much faster. She's done. Okay, she's done. Right? Now Peach <laughs> begins. I haven't even started yet. Okay, get, get ready for, for the competitor. Okay. Rob's done. Here I go. <laughs> I slopped that shit down. Jesus. And then I make nothing but sheer unadulterated eye contact to throw off her <laughs> game. Okay. She already had half her dog finished by the time that I started. Watch this. Okay. This is how I got to 330 pounds, boys. One thing I could do, I could eat, baby. <laughs> I oh my God. Disappear. 
before she even... <laughs> she does, she's not even trying. <laughs> she can't, bro. <laughs> she knows she can't. I'm a freak. <laughs> I was born to do that. Easy. Don't look at that, Emmy. <laughs> God. And that was my second one. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Then there was a rock, paper, scissor competition, which I went up against Milena. And I won on that too, which I was really happy about. You, uh -huh. know, you know, I did the ultimate five head move. When you go up to somebody in rock, paper, scissors, and you say, I'm going to play rock. Yeah. Okay. And so she played paper. Oh, no, no, no. She she said I was going to play rock. Yeah. So, so she, she picked she scissors. Reverse, yeah. Right. And so I just, I beat it with rock. Yeah. It was disgusting. Oh my God. It was so sick. And then we had this six legged race, but the alcohol, the friends, the environment, Wake did an amazing job hosting. I fucking love that guy. It was very good seeing him. Uh, but that was just such a good stream. Like, I, I mean, I wish we would do more of those. Really? Yeah. Like, I mean, the us going to your more house. drinking streams. Well, no, just like getting, <laughs> getting, together, getting together and just fucking around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like us going to your house. Me going to, to Nick and Milan, like those are like my favorite streams, like probably like in the past like six months for sure. They're just so good. I did the band council with Nick for the first time this week. It was actually yesterday. Was it fun? Those are uh, fun. You yeah. don't ban a lot of people, do you? What? Oh, no, you do ban a lot of people. Ton. I ban <laughs> anybody that I want for yeah. any reason. Like th there's, there are so many people. I will just, somebody says something like, fuck you. I said, fuck you. You're banned. I don't want to deal with you. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. Not today. Somebody asked the same question twice and it's a question that kind of pisses me off. No, you're banned. That's it. Too bad. Quit asking. Do you, uh, do you have anybody who complains about you like being like, oh, has been such a coward. He bans people on Twitch or he like hides comments on YouTube. Have yeah, you I ban those? them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do too. Yeah, you just ban them. Fuck them. Immediately. Immediately. Absolutely. Well, it's like, I, I have no problem with people that are like memeing around, but there's like, there's a certain difference between like people that are memeing and people that are like angry, you know? Yeah. And like, I was actually disappointed that Nick didn't have more degenerate ban appeals. Like I was hoping that we could really do some investigation. Yeah. So I hope if I ever do it again, I can really get down in the weeds and figure out what somebody was actually trying to say. Mm. Oh, you, you, know? you can bring some of your own. They don't mind. Oh, I did. They some did. of the ones I've had were, were pretty bad. Really? What yeah, were they? Mine. Just like... People with mental illness. I don't know. Dude, speaking of mental that illness. That doesn't narrow it down. I have a quick story to tell about one of the most mentally ill things I've ever experienced. This oh shit was so cringe. I mean, super cringe. So I'm streaming and I get sent this guy's video uh, from over a year ago. And it was called uh, Genshin Court Tectone, the King oh, of fuck. Misinformation. Here we go again. Okay. So I get to that. So this is a year ago this happened? Uh, the video was made about more than a year ago. Okay. And so I guess made, I got set up. And so you didn't even know about it until now. No, I did remember it. I first saw it back during my subathon. Uh-huh. But I was just so angry back in my subathon. I didn't want to watch it on stream. I watched it off stream. And I was like, this is the most irritating video I've ever seen. Okay, so why and was it irritating? What was it, what was it about? Because it's just another person being like, oh, Tectone said this, Tectone said that. Look, he, look, Zhang Li was good when, or Zhang Li was bad when he said he was good. Maybe you should stop saying things. Nope. If he stops saying <laughs> things, then oh, how can yeah, he get content yeah. for the future? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Was, okay, but think, anyways. About, think about every stupid opinion is a seed. And you plant the seed, and then everybody else gets angry about it, and then you harvest the crop. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, 100%. I love that, bro. It's so, so funny. So I react to the video on stream, right? Uh, and it was still a pretty dumb video. I mean, obviously, there's a thing in there that I was wrong about. Zhang Li wasn't good when he first came out, but I don't like admitting that publicly That's because so crazy to me still that like most of the time you talk about like people from these communities not liking you, it's because you had like an opinion on like a tier list or something. Oh yeah, oh. I, I have not seen another community care about that. Oh yeah, well, like in in the league community, if you said like a character was good that wasn't like or like vice versa, people would be like you're dumb, and then they would just move on. Yep. It's in been, WoW, it's the same way. It's been three years. Okay. It's been three years since I said that Zhongli was good when he was bad. Dude, and he's like such an old character now. Yep. Is that That's the one they had to like change crazy. two times? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, so he made a video. So a couple things I was right about. A couple things he was wrong about is what it is. Okay. Uh, brought him on my stream. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I daddy up on him a little bit. Okay. Because uh, I thought it was really funny because he wanted to argue all these things about me. He thought I'd be dumb and uh, I wasn't dumb. I oh, laid like, out the like, opinion. Like what? Oh, like he thought I wouldn't be able to explain like 
why a certain element was bad back then or why okay. I think this thing called C6 Bennett is good, but I did. Okay. Um, and I also, you know, I clown on him a little bit because, I mean, that's what you do when you're streaming. Uh, and then at the end of the thing, uh, he apologizes to me for okay. him making the video on me. Smart. And then me and him talk about anime. I invite him to come to my podcast. We hash things out. We're good. We're done. Well, that's boring. What happened after that? <laughs> So this other guy. <laughs> okay, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this, this other guy thinks he's like the Batman of okay. the Genshin community. Right. And he's going to say he's all gonna the things. He's going to take you to task. Exactly. Yeah, he's going to hold you accountable. Yep. He he came to defend, defend Flip, uh -huh. a guy who didn't even want to be defended. <laughs> right? Okay. And he makes this whole video and he calls me the king of cyberbullying. Okay. And then well, he takes- no, that's me. What yeah. do you mean? I'm way worse. Dude, dude. So then he takes me talking with Flip, takes it completely out of context. Okay. And makes like a 32 minute video essay on me. Really? Yeah. Like one of these things, because Flip at one point said um, that me and M Tash said that physical DPS fish was good. I didn't say that. Okay. M Tash said that. Right. And then I told him, I didn't say that. M Tash did. And then Flip said, that's what I mean. You and M Tash said that. And I'm like, no, that's not how this works. Because if that's how it works, let me tell you what you and Hitler said. Yeah. <laughs> that's not how it fucking right, works. Right, yeah. So he thinks it's like, oh, how dare he say that? How dare he make that joke? Bro, yeah. it's a joke. Okay. Anyways, he makes this whole video essay. He even brings up things like, oh, man. He, he tries to make it personal. Really weird. Uh -huh. And he says, oh, man, you deserve for your wife to leave you. And I'm like. Man, that's that, so he's really going in. He's on really it. bad. He's oh, really man. bad. Okay, and like he's telling me like like shut the fuck up, like leave the fucking community, all this stuff. Yeah. And the, the funniest thing is watching those. He sounds like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> that's right. It's the funniest thing. So me, as I do, I say, okay, you want to talk about it on stream? So yeah. I invite him on stream. When I talk to Flip, I take him seriously. When I'm talking to this guy, this Genshin Batman, uh -huh. I don't take him seriously. Right? Because I'm not going to take a guy trying to white knight a guy who doesn't want to be defended seriously. Why would I do that? Yeah. I clown on him for two and a half hours straight. Jesus. He doesn't know that I'm being, that I'm trolling until the last 50 minutes. Uh huh. Right? He's bringing up all these points, and I'm pretty much acting like I'm drunk yeah. the whole time. And you're right? like, oh, it's not really true. <laughs> <laughs> For like, I'm looking at you for two and a half hours. If you were here, I'd beat your ass. Yeah. yeah. So at just the, be be the worst version of yourself possible so he just feels as vindicated. Oh, no, absolutely. Like if you watch this, yeah. it is it is like painful. Maybe I'll upload the whole VOD to YouTube. It's funny as shit. And then the last 50 minutes, he starts getting it. And he's starting to get really mad. Yeah. I mean, really Did mad. Did you get him on camera? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then he just starts screaming at me. Yeah. Uh, he starts screaming at me saying, yeah, you're, yeah, your wife deserved better. Glad she left you. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, do you think she left me because my Genshin meta takes were bad? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he did this other thing where he said, do you want to die on that hill? So I said, bro, are you threatening me? And he's like, how could you possibly think that's a threat? And I said, you said, do you want to die? And he's like, well, what do you mean? So I'm taking like everything he said in like yeah, the worst, literally, yeah. dumbest way possible. Um, and the worst thing was this, and he's getting shit on relentlessly for this quote. He was giving me shit for talking to Flip uh -huh. because he was a former miner. He said, how dare you talk oh, to me? I was a too. <laughs> wait, wait, how old is this person now? He's 18. And he said, you were talking to a former minor. And I said, what? that's Wait, everybody on earth. As yeah. in like, you were speaking to him when he was like- I no. think what he's trying to say is you're trying to hold him accountable for something that he did whenever he was a kid. Yes. Like, that's the implication. Yes. But because he's bad at communicating, he looks like an idiot. Yes. A former minor. A former yeah. minor. Wow, but that's so fucking funny. I saw you making yeah. tweets with that former minor thing. I, was, I yeah. thought that was just like a Twitter thing. No, because, I didn't know that was- Because he a... literally said it like this. You were talking to a former miner. And I say, I was a former miner too. Yeah. <laughs> and he just looked Dude, like an crazy. idiot. That sounds so fun bringing people on stream like that. Oh, I do it to everybody. I've, yeah. I've never like reacted to a, a video like that, like about myself, but I, usually they're just like too weird. The ones that I get, like there was yeah. one that was kind of similar that I got a long time ago that I watched. Mm -hmm. It was someone from the uh, rhythm game community mm -hmm. talking about my DDR streams. And they were saying basically like, oh, like she's good, but she's not that good. Don't know why she has so many viewers, but like, it's kind of cool. But the reason I never reacted to it is for some reason at the beginning of the video, 
He cooks a stack of pancakes, prints out a picture of me, puts the picture on the pancakes, and then eats the picture of me. Wait, wait, okay, so, so wait, wait, hold up. So like, was it a printed on a sheet of paper? Yeah, and he ate- Okay, so he ate the paper. That was on the pancakes. So like, was it, well, no, 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 no. And I, I, don't, okay. I don't know no, why. No, I, I, no, 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 let, let, give me a second here, <laughs> okay, all okay. right? Let me make sure I get to the bottom of this. <laughs> yep. So did he eat a sheet of paper? Yes. With my face on it. But there was pancakes there, but there was paper. It's not like it was printed onto the pancake. No, it was, it was a piece some of sort of like it thing. was a piece of paper on a stack a, of pancakes. It was a sheet of, and he, a sheet he poured of paper. syrup over the paper on like that was okay, on top that's of the good. soften it up. That's smart. Yep. Well it's like And so I did he okay, so <laughs> did he draw the picture or no, was it printed out? It was printed out. It so was So he had to have had a printer. Yeah. It was my Twitter profile picture, me cosplaying Gwen from League. Sure. It was on the pancakes and he ate it. Okay. And I, I don't know and why. So you, that I was think there was some kind of joke there, but I don't remember what it was. Well, I mean, like, you know, it's like, I'm going to, like, I'm going to d- destroy you. And that it's like him eating well, a Yeah, the rest of, of the video was like, yeah. she's good, but this guy at the mall in 2003 is better at DDR. Oh, and right. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're almost done with this. So then he really brings up the fact that I shouldn't have talked to this guy and that I bullied him into talking to him. Uh-huh. And so because I'm so scarred from what the Genshinabek accused me of, do you know what I DM flipped before we talked? I asked him, does he consent to the call? I gave him a safe word. So that way, if he was ever uncomfortable, he could say it and I would get him out of the stream. <laughs> Dude, you're such a dick. <laughs> no. Like, okay. No, because I knew they were going to say it. I knew yeah. it was like, he bullied him into the call. And I'm like, okay, do you consent? Uh, do, here's your safe word. When he came on the call, the guy even admitted he was the one who wanted to talk first. And that was the guy this guy defended. So I did all of that to make sure, I, because I know if they can say anything, they're going to say anything. Uh-huh. It gets worse. So then the conversation's over and then his own twin brother comes into his live stream and is talking about like, Bro, you look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> so he, so the guy that made the video, he's the stupid twin. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. And so then his brother then makes an eight minute video about why like I pretty much did nothing wrong and how his brother was an idiot who's impossible Which to talk to. Which brother has more subscribers? Okay, so the other brother had 700. I, and the other guy who I made the talked hoop? to yeah. had 11,000. Okay, so then rea- the other brother's still wrong because he has less subs. But since I reacted to his video, yeah. he's about to hit 4,000 subs. Oh, wow. You're so, tearing a family apart. I wow. know. He made an eight-minute video about our whole conversation uh-huh. that I reacted to for an hour and a half. There you go. Oh my God. I've never had a drama where somebody else's family member felt the need to have my back over their brothers. That's bad. It was insane. And the crazy thing is the guy still thinks he's in the right. Really? Yep. So where did this, why do you think he's mad? Oh, he's always mad. That's his whole thing. So like, that's all he does? He just gets angry at stuff. He just gets mad at other people? Is this his first time getting mad at you? No, he's been mad at me for like years. Oh, really? He even sent me a DM uh, like like, like a a year and a half ago. Did you show it? No. I would have. I should have. Yeah. It was like, uh, something like, uh, Tectone, I still can't tell how I feel about you, but sometimes the uh, things you do on stream, I don't really approve of. Uh, acting like he's like the, the moral oh, standard. Kermit. Yes. I like that. I like that. It's good. Yeah. And uh, it was probably one of the most cringe, but really funny dramas was ever been Was he on part camera? Of. Like, was he like physically on camera? Were you able to see him? No, he hides behind a VTuber. Oh, yeah. fuck. Because like, yeah. you could have called him fat. I coulda. Yeah. Oh, but I've seen his twin brother and how he looks. Okay. So I probably know how he looks. So it's pretty much about the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Unless he's like the fat twin. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. I would always have something stupid like that to say. I'm going <laughs> to be honest. Like I always have something rude to say. Like to me, I feel like if somebody, like I hate these absolute fucking pussies that post things publicly and then they say, don't talk about them. Yep. What the fuck do you mean? Yep. They're like, you didn't blur out the Twitter name, bitch. Twitter is public. Yep. Too bad. Yep. That's the way it goes. You put that there yourself. But you can't make a video on somebody. Yeah. And then expect them to not react and not oh, say anything to about me, it. To me, if somebody does something publicly yep. and it's stupid, mm-hmm. there's going to be an Asmongold TV video about it. Absolutely. And, and if they want to come on my stream, they're not getting a fucking safe word. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. They're they're gonna just they're gonna get farmed out for content for hopefully two videos. No, but I, I did that just to prove 
that there is absolutely nothing they can fault me for. There's nothing. No, it there's, there's doesn't stupid- matter because then it's like, because you, you can never win with people who don't like you. Yeah. If That's people true. don't like you, they will never like you. And if you try to make them like you, they'll like you less. And if people that don't like you, you try and you don't care if they, if, if, if they don't like you, then they will like you more because they will at least respect you that you're not looking for their approval. That's true. But I just wanted the way to be like, there's absolutely nothing they can say. Because there's this, there's this whole mentality of- I don't, I, I like kind of being the villain. I, 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 sometimes I will do things that are kind of a villain arc type things. Yeah. And it, just to keep things exciting. What was the know? last villainous thing you did? Last villainous thing I did? Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Besides probably, giving Emmy that pimple. Yeah, oh, true, yeah. <laughs> Um, you ruined me, bro. Yeah, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? It's first of many. Yeah, it's gonna happen as we way more first probably of tomorrow. Many. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, especially if we do go back. Yeah, that's we will. We're gonna clean it up. It's it's not gonna be good. I'm telling you. Like I have a lot. There are a lot of villain arc stories. I'm trying to think of one. Um. Well, like what I will do is like anytime there's a controversy, I yeah. will pull up stupid people's tweets. Yeah. And then I will make fun of them publicly on my videos. <laughs> And I would just call them stupid. That's not that villainous. Well, yeah. Some would consider it. But oh, they get the people tweet at them. They say, did you see that you got featured on Asmon TV? You really got roasted, Ripbo. So fuck you. Yeah. I mean, you why, suck. Why, why do people call you Asmond? Because they're stupid. But like, what yep. does it mean? It means, uh, means that they don't know how to spell. They don't know how to yep. read. They can't read. Oh, I thought it was like, it, it, I thought it meant something. No, they probably think it's no. Asmond Gold. Asmond Gold, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've gotten that for about my whole life. Ass yeah. mongler's better. Ass mongler? Yeah. That's what my friend's dad called me. Yeah. Yeah. Ass mongler. Hey, what is his name? <laughs> Ass mongler? What's his gay shit? <laughs> <laughs> Look at what he called himself. Ass mongler. He called me that for six years. Ass six mongler. Six fucking years. Six Imagine ass, that. Ass mongler, man. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think that having occasional villain arc things make things interesting, right? I think so too. Yeah. Because like I, I look at everything that I do on the internet as entertainment, right? And I think the moment that you start taking things serious, that's whenever things get over the line. That's yeah. whenever people- Absolutely. I think people definitely appreciate that too. Cause it's like, yeah. you just do what you want to do. And a lot of creators are very like sterile now. They're pussified- like losers that are boring that nobody wants to watch because the only thing they care about is not making sponsors unhappy. Yep. I said it, you didn't have to. So, but I mean, you, but it is what it is, right? And so that's the truth. People are so fucking boring nowadays and it drives me crazy. Everybody's always trying to apologize for something that they didn't do. I haven't seen so as mad. much of that lately, but like two it to three years ago, the last year. there was a lot. It's so bad. It was so yeah. bad. Well, yeah. besides extra Emily texting and driving. Well, say what? Yeah. Besides Emily texting and driving. Yeah. Other things that people have apologized for that were stupid? Oh, no. I was like, thinking that people don't want to like apologize to sponsors, but Emily oh, was a little bit on the edge. I mean, I don't know. I mean, people always worry. Like, because I'll talk about super controversial stuff. Mm. Like, it's like, oh, we're just talking about the weather. And like, there'll be people in chat and we have a, a fucking command where it just automatically deletes paragraphs. Wait, <laughs> so actually? They'll sit there. Yeah, we just delete that shit. Nobody wants to read your bullshit. And so anyway, so I just, they'll sit there and they'll type out a paragraph. They're like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. You don't know anything about the Israel-Palestine situation. Oh and my God. Oh yeah, absolutely. Though. I can't believe you're not talking about it. And you, you so you like Dude, blowing up babies. people like that. Have you yeah. had people like that too? They're like, so what do you think? Like when you're going to say your yeah. opinion, I'm like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. No, exactly. And they're like, well, you're doing a disservice. You should educate yourself. It's like, oh my okay, God. sure. And, and then what? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm going to go over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah why don't you go over there? You feel so do strongly about, about it. it. Dude, exactly. Uh, I had such a long talk with uh-huh. my dad about that shit. Really? Yep. Because he served for 54 years. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So the opinions he had are crazy. Right. He thinks he thinks the U.S. military is the weakest it's ever been. Really? Yeah. Most people think that. Or not most people, but a lot of people. Yep. They, he says that it's when... You know sl- why? Women in the military. He had a different reason. Really? He said, uh, man, all these generals are more worried about g- uh, gender identity than actually helping out the boys in the line <laughs> of duty. I've seen that same fucking shit, <laughs> yeah. man. Uh, that's what he was yeah, saying, exactly. man. Exactly. Oh, my God. 
my God. But apparently, <laughs> you know, nobody fears Sleepy Joe, but the, you know who they nobody did fear? Feared they Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, the dude was nuts. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so he I was. don't know. I mean, I, I, I have to say that if they do, if he actually, if we get a season two of that, I will stream the debates. I will 100% oh, yeah. fucking percent stream the debates. And the worst thing about it, and I want everybody to realize this, is that every single liberal commentator who's talking about how much they don't like Trump is lying. Because <laughs> if he it's fucking content. wins, that is the biggest content that you can ever imagine. Oh, yeah. Because like, you've got to think about it. This is going to be round two. Mm -hmm. And like he, at this point, he won't need to worry about re-election because he won't need to get re-elected ever again. Yep. Because that'll be it. So he will be even more unhinged. Yep. There will be even more Twitter rants. It, like, I don't know. He could threaten to bomb somebody on Twitter and it would just be like, yeah, for sure. That's just the normal. That's Tuesday. <laughs> Dude, if Trump oh, he, runs, yeah. he wins. I think I think it could happen. I don't even think it's a, I don't think it's a can. I think it's a, it will. I Do you think it'll happen? Who, who, who could beat him? I think that it was unironically the most five head play for him to say that he's not going to go to the debates. Because... So like, yeah, I know you guys probably don't give a fuck about this because it's, you know, like who cares, right? But like, there are all the other Republicans and they all went to debates. Trump said, why would I go to the debate? The only thing they're debating for is who's going to be my vice president. That's so crazy. He just put his dick on the table. And the fact is <laughs> that he was right. Yep. Because like the thing is, people it, during the debates, people can make him look like a fucking jackass because he messed up a lot of stuff. But if nobody can say that to him, you can never get the clip of him looking stupid. Yep. It was so fucking smart. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that it's going to be a really, really, really good show. When is that happening again? When are they, when are they going up for real? I don't again? know. I have no idea. I think it's like this year. Damn, Sleepy Joe's been in office for the past three years. Yeah. What the fuck has he done? Well, you know what's Sleep. really funny? You know what's <laughs> really funny? Yeah. Is that we have, there's a guy who's the game director of Diablo 4. And his name is Joe Shelley. Yeah. <laughs> and the last fucking thing, he was barely awake <laughs> during the event. event. And like every time that he would talk, Everybody in chat would just be spamming question marks. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What are you saying? What is this? And people were spamming him Sleepy Joe. And it was so bad that he wasn't at the next one. And then I had a question that wasn't answered. And he responded to it on Twitter to me. Oh, and like, and, I, and I see it. And I'm like, guys, he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was asleep. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was a good time, man. There's actually a new Diablo 4 season coming I was going to ask you about that. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's going to probably be better than the first one, which is like, so, you know, if you can imagine, <laughs> it's going to be like, I don't know, maybe a little bit better. It's probably still going to suck, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. It's another good thing for me to farm content with. Yeah, I've seen I've seen absolutely zero good things. Really? Yep, zero. Um, well, they added in a skin to Overwatch. It's a Diablo skin, and it's $40. $40, that's right. Oh, that's oh cool. yeah, I saw that on Twitter. And then someone quoted it. It was like, here's a bunch of full-ass games you can buy for 40 mm -hmm. bucks. That's crazy. Opera GX said that. I mean, a, a lot of games have skins that are that expensive, but they're they're free games to begin with. Yeah. Overwatch 2, to be fair, is a free game. But like, it's yeah. just, it, it's still... Oh, Overwatch. I you are talking yeah. about Diablo. Oh, no. Diablo, the skins are only $25. That's still that a lot insane. for a paid <laughs> game. Like, that is insane. Yeah, no, I'm good, bro. The, the, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm the firm advocate that free-to-play games should be played free-to-play. Really? Yeah. I, don't, I well, think the, Those are skins, but yeah. Yeah, 100%. I don't know about that. I mean, I, I, I have no problem spending money in a game for content, but you would never catch me. Like, I don't play any of that shit. Like, there's not like a free-to-play game that I play off-stream or anything like that. You played Honkai Star off-stream? Well, I'm playing, I'm playing it on-stream too, right? Oh, like, okay. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I hit, he's just farming on-stream. I hit Trailblazer level 70. There it is. Yep. There I just is. hit 69. Wow. I'm almost 66, I think. Huge. Jesus. Yeah. The new event's really good, by the way. Really? It's Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> actually so fun. I'm about to beat it today. So goddamn good. Oh, and also my Jing Liu is insane. Not as insane as mine. Yours is better. Yeah, I know. But I have the light cone and Jing Liu. Got it for free. I got him his first copy. Yeah, you did. I mm -hmm. was so happy that you did not get it. At the, the Himiko? At, yeah, yeah, when you, when you got one. the Himiko and then you were like sure 180. I'm sure he was happy too, honestly. He could I, drag it out longer on stream. Dude, 
I reacted. You can't tell them that. It ruins it. Dude. I'll cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> I reacted to Asmongold pulling. Uh-huh. Two five stars. <laughs> it took you an hour and a half. I was watching the whole thing for an hour and a half. It was a you and Emmy stalling for an hour and a half. Well, I was dressed like Ronald McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> that was some dumb fucking shit. Dude, I I love that shit. Just so you know that video stupid. has over half a million views now. Really? Oh yeah. Of what? Uh, you and Emmy pulling? Yeah. Playing Star Rail. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Dude, that gave me such good positive PR. Because really? people always called me a staller, but then they saw you. And they're like, okay, well, maybe tech is not that bad. I wasn't even, no. Like, what do you mean? You're, I'm not, you're doing one pulse. No, I don't do those anymore. I, oh, wow. Now you stopped. I, I no, do that was like that was like in Genshin, wasn't it? Yeah, that was forever I, ago, I don't man. remember the last time I saw him do a one pull. Yep. Oh, it's no. been a long time, man. Wait, that is crazy. You would do one pull. Yep. <laughs> Jesus, that is like. Does that's it, like feeding somebody one thing of rice at a time. Like one, <laughs> does that, does that affect uh, yeah. the pity at all? Uh, yeah, it does. Does it make it better or worse? The same. Then how does it affect Oh, well, like, I thought you meant like, if you do a poll, will it still add to pity? Oh, yeah, not. One at a time, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also never noticed that blanket is just a bunch of your animals. Yeah, someone gave this to my P.O. box. It's a bunch of pictures of all the, the pets that I've had uh, since I started posting With like statistics. Media. Oh, was, these are from a, a video that I did where I, I put all my rabbits in there and then it was like a little description did of their you make personality. A tier list? Uh, no, but it, it was like, tag tag yourself, which rabbit are you? Like, um, If you were to make a tier list of all of your pets, which one would be the best one? Um, In terms of- My rabbit like, okay. Bean, because she's immortal. Okay. Is that so, like combat ability or is it just like your enjoyment of having the animal? Uh, both. Okay, so you so, think- no, that, she, She's like actually immortal because um, my rabbit Bean. So oh. let me tell you about Bean. So um, another one of my rabbits gave birth to her. I didn't know that her mother was pregnant, so this was a surprise. Mm -hmm. I go to feed her, and there's this squirmy little chicken nugget looking thing in there. It Delicious. scares the shit out of me. I thought it was a giant bug. It was yeah. like this big, and it was a little baby rabbit. Oh and uh, so she grew up, and when she was about this big, um, one day she just like started screaming and like passing out. Like, I, I thought that she fucking died. And then she would, like, get up and, like, act like nothing was wrong. Uh -huh. So I took her to a vet that was fucking three hours away. And they were like, so what's going on here is one of her heart nodes did not develop. So, like, it wasn't pumping blood properly. It would, like, stop sometimes. So she was literally dying over and over again. What and then her the heart fuck? would restart. And they were like, yeah, so what's going to happen is either she's going to die or we can try to replace her heart with a pacemaker, which they do for like humans and dogs, mm -hmm. but it's never really successfully been done on a rabbit. So you could pay like $5,000 for this, but there's a high chance it won't work. So I was like, I was like, I'm just not going to do it because even if it works, I don't want her to like have a life like that, you know? And then two weeks later, they're like, she's fine. What? New patch. Yeah. That's insane. So how many years ago was that? Four years ago. Wow. And she's she's still alive and fine. But uh, I never like was able to get her like fixed or anything because the doctor was like, we can't put her on anesthesia because of her, her uh, heart problems. Oh my God. But yeah, she's a high tier rat. I, I fucking love her. Wait, so she's a rat or a rabbit? She's a rabbit. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a rabbit. Is she on the blanket? Um. Oh yeah, she's right here. Um, Bean uh, does not fear God nor death, survive multiple <laughs> heart conditions. Good job, Bean. Plot armor is a rat. She's right here. Oh my God. <laughs> that's so cool. Let me say. Damn. Yeah, that's me feeding her uh, her medicine after oh, wow. one of her first trips to the vet. Holy yeah. shit. What's more toxic? Rating all of your friends on a tier list for who you actually like the most <laughs> or ranking all of you and your friends' pets on a tier list for who's the best pet? What would hurt your feelings more? You mean like which um, human friend is the best pet? No, okay, like, I, I which human friend like, is the best friend? I feel like for friends, yeah. it's like every, it's like kind of funny, you know. Like you you could rate situation. someone low, and like it's like a stupid reason. Like everyone knows it's not that serious. Yeah. I yeah. hope, but for they pets, don't. people would I take it more personally. I feel like yeah, they would be more serious about it. Maybe yeah, like I'm how wrong. would you feel if I put Bunky in like D tier? That would suck. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> this is Bean's brother, uh, Chicken. Um, he killed three people, prefers fingers to carrots. That's him. Really? He killed yeah. three people? Oh, you know what the crazy yeah. thing is? I think that's the same rabbit. 
<laughs> they might as well just be the same rabbit to me. <laughs> there's two kinds of rabbits. There's uh, well, there's three. There's the gray ones, the white ones, and the black ones. Okay, so those he's, are, he's a brown there's one. There's like three uh, versions of a rabbit <laughs> grandfather right now. I, yeah. I, I also raised oh, chicken from birth, but I don't have chicken anymore because when he was born, uh, I told my friend Rose yeah. she could have chicken, but I had to get rid of chicken anyway because. He started doing this thing where he would run circles around my legs, grunting and like excreting the smell. And I asked the vet why, and they were like, "It's because the rabbit is attracted to you." Oh, oh really? Wow. So I had, <laughs> I gave chicken to my my friend, and I didn't go visit for like a month. And That's then when smart. I went there, it was still doing it. And she's like, "Yeah, it only does that to you." Oh, really? He yeah. didn't do it to uh-huh. them too. I, I don't know. That's amazing. I was like, "That is disgusting. Get away from me!" You that rat. actually is so gross. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, like, would that, so did that change the dynamic with the pet? Yeah, like, I would still, like, pet it and stuff, but I didn't want to, like, be around it. But, like, you know, at arm's reach, like, over there. Yeah. I remember whenever oh I saw God. my cats, like, like, when you have a cat, before they get neutered, like, when you see their dick, that's yeah. weird, bro. I really don't look at the cat's dick. Like, that's the thing. I just don't spend a lot of time thinking about well, that. Well, you gotta, because, like, so... What would happen was is they would shit on themselves. Yeah. And then I would have to clean this shit. Why are they going to the- shit on themselves? Well, because they're stupid kitties. Well, the, what are they going to, what's the, I mean, like, I mean, like a little kitten? Yeah, like a, like a kitten. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, and they would like diarrhea all over themselves. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd have to clean it. Right. And then me cleaning their shit yeah, off them right. feel, felt good. They would get a boner. And then I'm like, oh my fucking god! I don't know god. if that's the way it works, man. I'm pretty sure it's not. That's so gross. That, that's that's what happened to no me. No way, dude. Because like I had kittens, and like we never did any of that shit. We just pretty much let them sit there. You ever have long hair kittens? Yeah, I have long kitties. Oh, well, yeah, this was we had, a long hair man a, a, a floofy one, and uh, yeah, I don't know whatever the fuck happened to him. I fucking love it. Oh, here's a picture of chicken dressed as a cannon minion. What? I made this costume. <laughs> I, made this, I made this costume for him. Oh my god. That's so cute. Isn't he? Look he at his little like cart. looks like a wizard. Yeah. Wait, oh, that's a tank. Holy yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's a cannon minion from League. I made him a, a red cannon minion. Oh. Yeah, he's, oh, he's got like I a little it. hood and he's in the, the cannon oh, cart. Oh my god. Yeah. So I want to know, honestly, what, what is y'all's opinion on Mr. Beast? I like him. Do you like his content? I really hope that, I hope Mr. Beast does something like, you know, uh, I put a hundred people that were starving and it's like the person who can jump through the most hoops, like we're going to buy them a million dollar house in LA or something like that. And just like some video that's going to like make people mauled. Like every single time that Mr. Beast makes a video and it's not something that like people can use as a platform to get mad, I get disappointed. Bro, the so you uploaded two videos recently, which was uh we built the world's most dangerous trap. Yeah. Uh, so it's like going to VR chat, and then there's another one where it's uh, a one million dollar house versus a hundred million dollar house. Right. The trap video actually fucked me up. Really? Because it was this one dude, and every trap he would beat, he got a hundred thousand dollars. Uh huh. But if he wanted to go to the next trap, he would have to gamble all of the winnings that he had. Right. Yeah. He gets to the second to the last one. And he loses everything. <gasps> That's what you get. Bro. How much money was it? $900,000. Wow. Yep. Wow. I think Mr. Yeah. Beast is great. I, I, Same. I don't really watch his content. It's not really for me, but I think he's an amazing content creator. I I would, I would wish that he was slightly more sadistic. <laughs> yeah. Because that would make the videos more interesting. <laughs> you know? Like, I, I just think it'd be just way more interesting. I think he has to be incredibly brand friendly, though. Really? Yeah, because like he does, I mean, a, yeah. stream, a channel of that size, like getting a sponsor, has to be so hard. So I think I don't, it be th- I don't think so because I feel like so many sponsors would want to be uh, his. Sponsor. I mean, I guarantee you, Pornhub would probably just pay just the same amount. It'd be fine. When was the last time you saw someone with a Pornhub sponsor? I don't know. Why would Why would Pornhub <laughs> need to sponsor anyone? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, maybe people forget. I mean, there's like X videos. There's <laughs> yeah. Twitter. Now there's True. Twitch. I mean, there's a lot of other places. I see yeah. Fansly sponsoring like every event. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. That's because people think about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, it works. Like everybody talks like advertising doesn't work. But if it didn't work, people wouldn't be using it. Here's my problem with Mr. Beast. Okay. Because I think he's an incredible content creator, if not the greatest content creator ever. Because I don't think he got lucky with anything. I think everything he did was premeditated. I think he understood everything he was doing. I think he knew the, the means to an end. He just hit 200 million subscribers on YouTube. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot of fucking subs. Yeah. That's a lot of subs. Um, 
My problem is, is that he keeps shoving down this lie every stream and every video that he does because his Feastables bar tastes like shit. You think so? Yep. Is this Mr. Beast drama? No, I mean, I feel like it's a pretty common occurrence. I don't know uh -huh. a single person who likes these bars in real life. Really? Yep, they're not good. I have never had a Mr. Beast Feastable bar. I've never had any of that stuff. Um, I had some, so I, I think that like, you know, like we have, there's a very famous 4chan copy pasta that alludes to the fact that we're under the same agency. And so I think they sent me some, but I never actually ate it. And I like so the, the, the I rice in it. it. The rice? Yeah, it's like, you know, like a, it's like a crunch bar, like the, the crispy rice. Oh, those are the worst ones. I like those. I think those I gave all of his bars a, a two out of 10. I think I gave that one a four of 10. Because I, I too like, like the little one. Rice Krispies. Like the Crunch yeah. Bars, so I'm delicious. Nasty. Why would you want Rice well, Krispies? What's your problem with his chocolate? Like you think it's too sweet or just doesn't taste good? It just, okay. Um, it just does not taste good. Really? Yep. Just straight up? Yep. It just, it's so, not enjoyable. Well, one, one thing to think about with those kinds of brands is they're marketed and designed for kids. So it could just be like our taste buds. Like, cause like Prime is super successful, yeah, right? But that. every adult, that's it's tasted disgusting. prime is like it's gross, it's syrupy, it's too sweet, but kids fucking love it. That's, so that it's might be probably it designed for a child's palate rather than an adult's palate. Like ki crazy. kids yeah, like Hershey's, right. right? But adults don't like Hershey's. I love Hershey's. What I do don't like Hershey's. I, I like Hershey's too. It's delicious. Yeah. I like oh, I Hershey's it. too. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like adult chocolate is like the good shit, right? Which is more expensive to make, and kids like aren't really eating that kind of chocolate. So it's definitely marketed for kids and designed for kids. Well, I think you're. I actually think you're on. Anybody who thinks they're too good for Hershey's chocolate, bro, like <laughs> are you kidding me? Like you really think you're too good for Hershey's chocolate? I'm not saying I'm too good for it, but I'm saying if I have the option to have anything else, really? Yeah. I mean, let me say Hershey's is good on a s'more. You know, True. graham well, cracker, even, marshmallow. Oh, you, of, you know what? Yeah. I've seen the Mr. Beast uh, s'mores kit boxes. Are they good? I, I haven't had one, so I don't know. Well, maybe Mr. Beast will see this. And he'll yeah, ship I mean, it out. Should, yeah, send me one, I'll do it. <laughs> he probably would, dude. He was, You know who he was hanging out with on his latest video? Who's that? Uh, Miranda Cosgrove. And Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. And, um, oh God, what's his name from Shark Tank? Mark. Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah. And I learned something from that video, because if you should go watch it, if you guys haven't seen the one million versus 100 million dollar video, on, uh, oh, is it Mark Reese. Cuban's house? The $100 million house? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much his house. Uh, a, a $3 million house in the country is nicer than a $100 million house in LA. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the fuck on this planet is actually consenting to living in LA. That is the worst area I've ever been it to in my whole life. It has to be like life. for career and it that's it. Or like if they're retired, it's because all their friends are there. And so like they just trap each other. Bro, it's like, I'm, I can't leave because my friends are here. I hear that all the time. Like, oh, I want to leave, but all my friends are here. Tell them to fucking move. Bro, this guy paid $100 million for a view of LA to see what, bro? I'm the downtown be, I'm smog. Real. I like LA. I think it's really nice. I like LA too, but I wouldn't want to live there like for a super long period of time. All right, yeah. What do you think's nice about it? I like the temperature. I think that the people there are pretty nice. Whenever the people the, are nice. The, the, I mean, like, because it's like, you have the same crackheads like here in Austin. Yep. And so it's like, I can go to LA and it's like, I didn't really leave Austin. It's not that much different. They're the same crackheads. They're the same bullshit. For some reason, when you said crackheads, I thought you just meant like the streamers that we hang out around. <laughs> well, well, I mean, <laughs> but that, that's, that's also true. Yeah. It is. And it's like, but then there's the actual crackheads. Mm -hmm. And it's like, there's this one crackhead and he sits outside my, uh, what do you call it? My convenience store. And he always tries to solve a Rubik's Cube and he can never figure it out. He's been doing it for like two years now. And I see him and he asks me for money every fucking day. It's nuts. And it's like, I go to LA and there's another crackhead with another Rubik's Cube, or maybe he's got something else. And it's totally normal. I don't know. I feel like I feel very at home there. The only thing that's upsetting about California is the gas prices. Um, that is true. Eight dollars. That is disgusting. Eight dollars. So I, for I gas. just googled it. Okay, go ahead. The air quality of LA is, is better than my house, so I don't care. <laughs> it is <laughs> your air quality is actually pretty good, Aspen. It's yeah. five times worse than Austin air. Five times. That's fucking bad. I don't know. I felt it was fine to me. When I go there, I get asthma. Really? Yep. I feel great. 
I feel this, I can only stay there for about 48 hours. Before That's my nuts. life becomes constant anxiety because I can't fucking breathe. That's horrible. That oh my suck. god! And that, the traffic's terrible. The Uber drivers are great. They're very nice. Uh, but I mean, I'm not even kidding you. A a a six minute drive at four a.m. becomes a hour and a half drive at two p.m. It is. Well, what are you driving around at two p.m.? Just why would you be awake then? Like, bro, like, stop. <sighs> Who are you trying to impress? <laughs> dude, shut up. You've been streaming at like 10 a.m. Yeah, what the fuck's yeah. going on? Get the fuck. Dude, fix your schedule, man. Oh, yeah, fix I will. it. Yeah, fix yeah, it. Yeah, I will. Don't worry about He's it. He's going to make the, the full loop. Yeah, you said that for two weeks and you've only gone back an hour and a half. Actually, I started earlier today. You, bro. I had a sponsor today. What are you, what are you doing, <laughs> Wait, what man? sponsor? Wayfinder. Yeah, oh, sponsored right, to play yeah. Wayfinder. That's right. right yeah. And I had 50 hours in the game, so they basically just paid me to play a game I already played. I love when that happens. Uh, yeah, and so I'm I feel just, like they like it too, honestly, because I feel like they'd rather well, uh, have someone who like game, knows the game. And I'm yeah. like, I mean, to be fair, I called the game dog shit multiple times, and then I also was like, they were sponsoring me, <laughs> and I'm exploiting in the game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm exploiting the game. They're paying for it. I thought oh, it was because Tower of Fantasy sponsored me all the time, and yeah. I shit on that game constantly. Oh, yeah. Did you like the game or no? Tower of Fantasy? No, Wayfire. Oh, um, yeah. I, I mean, I've played it a lot. I mean, like, there's dog shit with the game, but yep. there are good things with it, too. I feel like... Some of those devs are okay with it, though. Like, I also get sponsored. I was really upset that you got sponsored for... Uh, Lords of Lords. the Fallen. I was very upset about what? this. And you know why I was even didn't. more upset? Uh -huh. This was like, so it made me mad within me. But I was like, ah, you know, like, let's be real. Girls don't play these kinds of games. So maybe they're trying to get girls to play the game. Oh I get God. it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but then what got even worse is the fact that they paid fucking Miz. Can you believe that? <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't even fucking... Well, the, the point is to reach audiences that don't... But I do play Souls game. But the only other Souls... No, actually, there's two other girls I know of who play a lot of Souls game. Uh, Miss Mika and Sinna. Yeah. Oh, play a lot of my Souls God. Games. Don't call what Sinna does playing Souls games. But she games. streams the games. But she's not Frequently. playing it. She's uh, in it. Bro. Gatekeeper tech tone. Yeah. Yeah. No, let me tell you. <laughs> she's using summons that she's not really playing no, the game. No, no, no. If she's you using take, that weapon, then she's not really no, playing it. It took her three weeks to beat the fat guy and the skinny guy. Yeah. That's oh, that sounds like that. extra Emily. Bro, I'm saying, bro, Dude, just she quit. had like a 17 hour stream. I I love that shit. I don't care what you yeah. say. I love it. <laughs> I was. I watched you on the first boss of Lords of the Fallen. That was a disaster. I was having a dude. I started playing, letting my YouTube autoplay random songs. Yep. It was playing like. September Gangnam, Gangnam style, style. Yeah, yeah. and then Megalovania came on and I beat it to that song when that's the song sick. ended it actually was sick dude that fight I, I don't know I think Lords of the Fallen was fun I've had a very good experience I like with it. it the one thing that I don't like is um I don't like the thing where you use the lantern to shift to the dead world oh neither do I I feel like they were just trying to add like a unique mechanic, but it feels so like forced to yes me. there are that. a lot of things about the game that could be a lot better yep uh, but I think I'll tell I, you that I think the combat is really good. That's pretty much the yeah. only thing I'm going to judge the Souls game for. Good. I love it. I think How that much the did you play? Oh, sorry. Uh, just the first like two, three bosses. Oh, you'll get there. <laughs> oh, is is it bad? Uh, it is. There are it. There's just certain things about the game. I I I don't want to get into it too much, right? But the game okay. is fucked up in a lot of ways. Okay, because yeah. like like it is fucked up. The way that like the iframes work in Lords of the Fallen for me. I think the iframes are fine. Exactly. Yeah. I think they're very satisfying. Yeah, I think they feel totally very fine. good. And I don't think they take the piss with it. Like they just, you do the dodge. If you, you do, do it right. Oh yeah, the dodging really feels good. really good. Now yeah. the only thing I don't like is that for the angel fight, I don't like when bosses do this. It didn't have any hit delays, which I love. Was, I love that there's no hit delays. I think hit delays are cringe. I don't like when they go, huh! Oh, oh yeah, those fuck me it. up too. It's so cringe. But um you I know she literally does that though, right? That's well she does, right. but it's not that long. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not yeah. bad. She goes like huh, huh. But it's yeah. not not what's his name, Godfrey? And uh, uh, the, the first fight of Elden Ring? Godric. God it's Rick. also mm -hmm. the second fight of Elden Ring, and you're wrong about the name too, it's Margaret. What? There you go. So you're wrong about everything. But yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, <there you> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh but I don't like when a boss swings in a way. To where if you dodge, the end of your dodge will also be in frame for the attack, where they go like, yeah. And if you dodge it once, you actually the dodge specific way. It's fine once you learn it. I just find it super cringe. Uh, but the thing that it does have that I don't like is the same attack, but it's different. Where it looks the same, but sometimes it'll be different. To where they'll go like this, 
chop, chop. Chop, chop. Oh, yeah, those are annoying. Chop, chop. But then, chop, chop, chop. And it's like, how the fuck was I supposed to know you were going to do that? It's the same thing. Oh, I hate, yeah. I hate those mechanics. Yeah. I agree. I yep. think those are very annoying. I will, uh, I might try it again. I've already quit the game twice. What the yeah, fuck? I really? I hated that game. It was awful. It pissed me off so much. Well, now I know why you're not sponsored. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't know that at the time. <laughs> but I think maybe they, they, they had like divine foresight. I yeah, feel yeah. like they could have fixed the like annoying shift thing. If when you're supposed to use the lantern, instead of being like, oh, no, I got to switch to my lantern hand and I got to put the lantern up and then I have to hold down X when there's like a thing. Yeah. You know how like when you open a door, it's like a open door. If it was just like there's like the butterflies X shift. Like it's just one button and it prompts you. I yeah. feel like that would have fixed like 90% yeah, of the annoying you, they wouldn't part of it. artificially waste your time and make the game harder. Oh my God. It's That's like, true. why is it that it's a three second animation to loot your souls? That why is, is so, that, that, that is so oh, yeah, This shit was really long. See? Yeah. Really like, long. You, you can't run in and pick them up. You have to like yeah. kill everything first and then do there it. There you go. But so <laughs> it makes sense if you think about it. How would you possibly pick up souls that quickly? <laughs> to be honest, it should be longer. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> well, no, you can't. How do you know how long it takes to pick up a soul? How many souls have you picked up? At least a couple. I don't know. I would assume. Oh, yeah, that guy. This from is the, the guy who said exactly. he saw spirits. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying it. <laughs> yeah. I did. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Way different. Uh, Speaking of lost souls, why don't you read some fucking uh, some comments? Did you think the uh, the boss fight with the chick with the car on her head was hot? Which one? The one where you have to move her up the stairs because she's invulnerable in Lords of the Fallen. Oh, that shit was easy. No, but was she hot, though? I don't know. I didn't really tell. Bro, that shit was so hot. <laughs> Probably. That shit was insane to me. All right, YouTube comments. All right, we got a message here that says, I fear not the man who cooks a thousand different steaks. I fear the man who cooked one steak a thousand times. That's a good comment. Good I saw that Yeah, one. I like that a lot. Uh, Get Shek says, and I saw this one, they could have a whole OTK event just cleaning Asmund's house. The Camster says, the amount of times Emru stared in silent disbelief was amazing. Now I can see why no mere mortal can live with Asmongold. Oh, God. Finally, I have all the information I need to build Asmund's house in Minecraft. And literally, Fishy says, Tecton is my favorite human being on this whole planet. Wow. Look wow. at that. That That's is so a, Those nice. are actually pretty nice. What yeah, the fuck? What happened? Great. These I love the comments on our last video. Yeah. I, I read a lot of them. I usually don't really scroll past like the first page, but yeah. there were a bunch of really interesting and good comments. Wow. Okay, yep. that's good. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised the video's done so well. It's done great. So yeah, guys, those of you all, all watched and everything, we all very much appreciate it. Thank you. We'll do more stuff like that in the future. We also have a Patreon. True. Make sure to support the Patreon. One of the things that you can get on the Patreon is the postcards. We have these things Right here. We're going to sign these. I guess right now. What do y'all think? Yeah, I'm down. That's good. Holy fuck. I look like an idiot. Well, there you go. Oh, my God. This is bad. This is really bad. Jesus. Okay. What's wrong with them, bro? Were they drawn by Scott or something? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do it on the back. I think that back's probably better. Well, while you're still signing those, I'm going to read a couple yeah. more comments. There were more. Uh, the reason this episode is only 22 minutes long is because that's how long Emmy and Techie could last before needing to refill on breathable <laughs> air. Not true. We were there for like two hours at least. Oh, here's a really sweet one. The whole experience was otherworldly. That when they started eating together and doing crazy shit in the garden, that was wholesome as fuck. <laughs> no matter how much Asmund tries to warn people of his goblin nature, <laughs> no one can ever truly be prepared. I... I told people, I said, all the stories are real. Dude. Dude. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I said, bro, this shit's crazy. And yeah, actually mean true. that it's fucking crazy. Are we signed it all three? That's yep. what I would do, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, all right. Oh, man. You know what? I think this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, these look it's good. Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess it's the end of the episode, huh? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I would say so. It's been a it's been a bit of time. Something like that. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, I don't have my phone with me. 
I'm it's, just chilling. It's um, weird. I don't have my phone, man. Motherfucking oh, six twelve. Uh, it was. It wasn't charged. Six twelve. Okay. Yeah. There yep. you go. Yeah. There's. You're able to drive here without Google Maps. Uh. Well, I can. Yeah. Of course, I can do that. What the fuck? Yeah. Of course. I'd say. Well, dude, congrats to anybody who gets the Patreon and wins these uh postcards with their little signatures on back there. Actually, you know what? You guys, oh my God, your handwriting has gotten better since we started. Mine? Yep. No, it has not. I just did it differently. I'm really proud of you, Asmond. Asmond. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. We really very much appreciate it. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything else. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you all next week. Until the next one. Peace. things that aren't a thing. Is chiropractic real or is it not real? So, I've heard it's not real. I feel that it's real. I feel like it's got to be. I feel like it's, you know what? Maybe it's real if you believe it's real. I've, I've heard it's, it is pseudoscience. My placebo is very strong. Apparently I was under the, apparently I thought I was drunk when I was sober uh -huh. and I'm very good at like, if I believe something enough, it like I can feel it. But like chiropractic for me, I've never told, I've never been told by more people that chiropractic doesn't work on anybody when it, I feel like it worked for me because I could barely even stand up straight. Well, if it worked for you, then it worked for you. I mean, it, placebo is so strong. It can like literally like make people feel better from illness. I think yeah, it depends I, on what it is. I watched an ex experiment where they, they had a machine that did literally nothing but like vibrate and they would hook it up to people and they had two different test groups. One was like, this machine is going to cause you pain and nobody was like, I feel pain. They're all like, this is doing nothing. Yeah. And then when they hooked up the machine to people and said, this is going to make you feel really good. They were like, wow, that's amazing. That was like nine out of 10. I would pay like $200 for that. Really? I need to buy yeah. one of those machines. I can, sh I can show it to you. It's on Netflix. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. They were like, this is amazing. I, I feel so amazing right now. And it was literally just a machine that did nothing, but the machine was vibrating, but like they couldn't even feel anything.